Hey, hey, Casey Ray here, and today we're going to learn how to meal plan. When I say we, I actually mean me because I'm the one with this problem. I mentioned in my last video the 30 things I thought I would know in 30 years. Meal planning was one of them. And I really do think that I need to get better at this. I really think that this is a problem in my life. And there's no time like the present, so I'm just gonna figure it out. Now really, I do understand the steps, I do. I understand the basics of how to go in your freezer, how to go in your pantry, how to look at the sales paper, and then you look at your recipes and then you figure out what's gonna be nutritious and delicious for your family. I get all that, um, but that's a lot. I don't think it's that I don't understand I think it's that I get overwhelmed. I get extremely worked up and stressed out every time I try to do this. And I may or may not have had a meltdown about this more than once I'm already worked up. That's why I didn't wear much face today. I only put on like half of my face because I knew I was gonna be like wiping sweat and probably crying. <laughs> I know this is first world problems. I know that. Y'all ain't gotta point that out. I'm sorry, I'll pray about it. But right now, um, it's, it's still something that is really real in my life that I have to get over it. So, I took to Facebook like any good millennial would do and I asked my friends, what are some good, cheap, family friendly, easy, easy meals that I can make that are kind of like your go-to. I got some good feedback, some really good feedback actually, and I'm excited to try these recipes, but I don't think I'll get to buy the stuff for all of them because there was a lot, and I kind of want to stick to the ones that I have a lot of the ingredients already on hand. I was real ambitious um, at the beginning of this. I thought I was gonna do like a meal plan, grocery haul kind of meal prep situation. I think that's a little too ambitious giving my mental state at this early on point. I think it's more likely that I'm gonna just buy Hot Pockets and call it a day. <laughs> but we're gonna try real hard because we gotta get this done. So just keep watching and we'll figure out what we're gonna do because I don't know. So the logical place to start would be to go to the sales paper. And I seen that pork loin was on sale. Also, the chicken is buy one, get one free. I'm guessing that's pretty good because the recipes that I picked from Facebook, obviously there's lots of chicken, there is a pork loin. And so that's good, that stuff's on sale. So I'll plan for these meals and then we'll try some of the other ones a little bit later. But this is this is how you meal plan, I guess. So I haven't even made it to Kroger yet and I've already locked myself out of the house. That's how this is going. Well, this is going exactly how I planned it. I don't know how you people do it. The people who say this takes like 30 minutes, like a week, you are lying. I call BS on you. This is taking me like two days and I haven't even went grocery shopping yet or cooked anything. No, please take my spot. It's fine. Huh, no, you, you have it. It's cool. Whatever. Well, that only took two hours and two hundred dollars. I think I got everything on my list pretty much. They were out of pork loin, which is one of the main uh, meals that I was going to prepare. So I didn't get that, but for the most part, I got everything on the list, and I actually did really good. Like I got a carload of stuff for two hundred dollars, and. I believe that will last us a whole month. Of course, I'll show you guys 
what I got when we get to the house. I get it all spread out and then we'll figure out if I did good or not because I feel like I did, but I don't know. I'm really bad at grocery shopping. So I probably have a few people in the comments saying, oh my God, you bought that, blah, 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 blah. You know you people, y'all do that. All right, so this is my meat. I got a butt ton of chicken. Um, some ground beef, some Italian sausage, bacon. I got this for free from Kroger. I get coupons every so often for free items. Also, this was free and this was free. And several of these items um, were pretty close to free, like the butter and these buns because of my coupons. So I'm going to try to make this super quick because I'm really overwhelmed and I need to get this into the fridge because it's been like two hours already. So I'm pretty sure I threw away my receipt, but the grand total was somewhere around $190 for this. And it definitely will last us the entire month aside from like bread and milk and things like that. But um, just to give you an idea of kind of what my thought process was, the sausage, I saw Budget Girl do a um, kind of pasta with the sausage, so I bought this sauce to try with it. I'm going to put some cheese on it, and that'll be really easy, and I got some garlic bread to go with that. Um, several of the recipes needed chicken um, from Facebook, so I got all of this chicken for that chickens these are salads and I got a lot of frozen vegetables for like soups or maybe fajitas or possibly um, stir fry that's why I got the ramen because my friend Hannah said that ramen and um, ground beef and stir fry mix is really good so I'm gonna try that I'm excited to try that also um, I love this yogurt. This is my favorite yogurt. Actually, this is the only yogurt that I like. So I'm gonna try to make like some smoothies with like the bananas and maybe the strawberries. And this, these eggs were 77 cent for a dozen. So those were a really good deal. Um, the K cups, I'm trying not to buy these anymore, but this was a pretty good deal for the K-Cups. The breadcrumbs, because I plan to do like spaghetti and meatballs, are 99 cents. And I got these pastas. I've never tried this brand before, but I had a coupon for it. So I got both of these for, I wanna say a dollar and some change. And then I got this one. This is my usual go-to for 99 cents. Cheese was on sale, I don't remember how much or for what, but I know it was a good deal. This was not a good deal, but I like it, so I bought it. I got this pesto to try recipe one of my friends shared on my page. It looked really good, and this was not on sale. Also, another one of the recipes that I really wanted to try um, called for Velveeta cheese, and it only needed a half a block. So I decided to get the queso because I really wanted queso for when we have like Mexican style. I know this isn't real queso. Instead of buying like queso and Velveeta, I decided to get this. However, it was like $8 and I don't suggest anyone pay $8 for this, but I was real ready to go. <laughs> so I just want to show you guys real quick. Um, I'm going ahead and cooking this chicken tonight. I'm making it really basic, just salt, pepper, a little garlic powder. Um, I'm gonna use that for like chicken Caesar salads or wraps or whatever. I'm just gonna put that in the fridge and we'll eat on that throughout the week. I went ahead and cut up all the chicken, got all the nasty fat and skin off of it. And I put that in the freezer um, here in these freezer bags so that it's already pretty much prepared. All we have to do is thaw it out and put it in whatever recipe um, we're gonna use it for. So after further inspection, I'm realizing we're probably gonna be really tired of chicken by the end of this month, but it's fine. We like chicken. I think I counted upwards of 20 recipes that I'm able to make with this, as well as like leftovers and 
makeover meals where you take the leftovers and you make something else and um, a couple of creative meals like cereal. I, I think we're going to be good this month. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to have the bulk of the planning done because that's what stresses me out the most as well as the shopping. So this is a win. It's a lot of work and I'm really stressed out and I need to go lay down, I think. If you're interested in any of these recipes I've kind of mentioned, um, send me a message. I'll try to get you a copy of the recipe sent over. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. You're my favorites. Peace and love.